Good morning, YouTube. This is Alan with Off Grid Technology again with you guys today. We're going to do a little something different, and instead of doing a review of a radio or an unboxing of a radio, I wanted to start doing uh, what we call, um, you know, services or configuration of specific um, items. Uh, this may be called an operator series or something like that. Uh, I'm going to decide of a name, uh, but this is just a test video. I wanted to get this out there, see how well this one does, see if this is something that you guys like um, and that you want to see more of so uh, today we're going to do a little bit of how to send and how to find users um, out in the field using your GMRS Pro uh, but before we get into that first a word from our sponsor huge shout out guys to contingency medical our sponsor for today's video contingency medical provides emergency antibiotic kits that are per that are designed to help you when you're out in the field for first aid travel or survival whether it be camping going to visit your in-laws whatever things like life throw at you contingency medical has specific medications to help you get through some of the tougher times until you can get seen by medical professionals uh, some of the things that they provide in this pack are medicines such as for nausea motion sickness um, ear infections, things like that, as well as antibiotics, including zithromycin, z packs um, other antibiotics that are designed to help treat you and be able to prolong your treatment until you can get to that medical attention. Contingency Medical graciously sent us the Ready Plus pack for us to show our users and for us to be able to use to be able to see what kind of things that they offer in their service. Uh, this pack is designed to protect you on the home front. The Ready Pack draws inspiration from the question, what would an emergency doctor keep on hand at home? What would he have in case of an emergency? So based off of that question, they designed this pack to have everything that you're going to need to treat common infections such as animal bites, cellulitis, diarrhea, motion sickness, respiratory tract infection, urinary tract infection, vomiting, as well as antibiotics included, including doxycycline, amoxicillin, cefloxin, and also azithromycin. Uh, that's form, you know, basically known as the z -Pack. Now, that's the generics, or that's the, the what they have on their site. Um, these may change based off of your drug interactions. So the process of setting one of these up is you actually purchase the pack. They will get you in touch with a doctor who will go over your medical history, ask you questions. Once you're done, they will get a hold of a pharmacy that they have partnered with that is a reputable pharmacy. They will go ahead and set up the prescriptions for you, get the pack together, and then they mail it to you in the mail. Uh, once you get it, you also get information with it, such as uh, what each drug does, you know, what it's used to treat for, so forth, so you can keep it with the pack and have it with you. You also have 24-hour access to your physician if you have any other further questions. So I'd like to thank once again Contingency Medical for sending us this pack, allowing us to take a look at this, and giving our users a discount code. We're going to go ahead and pop the discount code up here in the top right here for you. That'll save you some money off of one of these packs. Go vi Go visit Contingency Medical, let them know that we sent you there and that you appreciate them supporting the channel. All right, guys, again, huge shout out to Contingency Medical. They are the first sponsor of this channel. Uh, they are backing us and bringing this content to you guys. So I wanted to say thank you. And again, don't forget, you can use that discount code uh, OG Tech 10 for $10 off at their website, contingencymedical.com. All right, so as you see, we're on the bench here. Uh, the BTEC GMRS Pro that I had spawned a twin. Um, so yes, we did go ahead and get another one. These were both bought with our funds. So, you know, any of our opinions, any of our, you know, reviews, gitches, gotchas of these things, uh, or, or you know, again, of our own opinion, uh, based off of our use cases and our scenarios, those things may vary and differ for you guys. Uh, but I just wanted to be able to bring a, a video to you guys that will show you in a pinch if you're out traveling around, your phone dies, you know, something happens and you need to get a hold of either your partner or somebody that you know has another GMRS Pro out there. Or maybe there's, you just want to see if there's people that are out there with GMRS Pros. Then you'll be able to send a signal out and hopefully have them respond, sync up with them and be able to send a message for help. So you're in the field. You've got user B over here. You've got user A over here. And... Again, phones died. You don't have any way to communicate other than just the radios. How do you get a hold of the other user? Well, one of the biggest things that you need to understand with the GMRS Pro um, is it's, it operates on the frequency that the radio is listening to and transmitting on. So for you to be able to talk to your other radio, one of the caveats is they both have to be on the same channel. 
Now, I did find a way to work around this. Uh, one of the ways to work around this is you can put your radio in scan and it will listen for beacons if other radios are beaconing out. Um, or better yet, what you should be doing in planning when you go out on these these hikes or whatever is have a predefined communications plan with what channel that you're going to be using. In this case, we went ahead and settled on GMRS channel 5, uh, which is a simplex channel. That way we don't have to worry about repeater traffic or anything that's going to be annoying us. All right, so how do we do this? Okay, OGT1, he's the, going to be the lost user. OGT2 is going to be his friend that needs to help him out. Uh, so how would you do this or how would you go about, right? Well, what you have to do is you're going to go ahead and take your radio that you're going to be initiating with. You're going to go down to signaling. And you're going to check nearby people. Now, this is going to send out a tone that's going to be on that channel that you're listening on and receiving on. So remember, this is channel five that we predetermined on. We're going to go ahead and check nearby people. You're going to see that the second radio actually did some uh, activity. And then we had a chirp back here on our primary radio. So now if you exit out and you go back to the main menu and you press this red button here, you're going to see OGT2 is to our right. It's going to tell you how many meters away. It's going to be off a bit. Um, you know, this, they're so close to each other. But you can see now we have OGT2 as one of our partners. So from here, we actually will go back to signaling. And now we want to send a message. Now, as you can tell on this keyboard, this is not the easiest to send messages. But it's completely doable. So you can, you know, pick out some whatever message you want to say. We're just going to keep this simple. We'll say H. And we're going to go I. Once you're done, you're going to go ahead and hit the red button to back out. And you're going to hit the top left green button. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these next to each other so you can see what happens. We're going to go ahead and submit. And now you can see on OGT2, we have received a message from OGT1. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. And you're going to see there's our message. Now, if we needed to reply, uh, unfortunately, there's no way to reply directly on this, uh, but you would just do the same thing in reverse where you just go to the menu, you go to signaling, you can send the message back. Um, we'll just do something here. We'll just send a bunch of characters. It doesn't really matter what it is. You're gonna hit the back button, you're gonna hit okay. And then you're gonna see back on the primary, we went ahead and received that message 3B. So there is a, a you know a quick way to send messages back and forth. Um, there's some other options such as call, check, things like that. We're going to take a look at in this operator series going forward. Uh, but I just wanted to do a quick video on how to send text messages back and forth between each of the radios without any devices being needed to be added. So if you have just the radio on you, you don't have your phone, your phone dies, whatever, you can still be in communication with your other partner that has the GMRS Pro. Again, guys, this is just a quick video of a new series that I'm thinking about. If you like this type of stuff and you want to see more of this and longer videos of this, please give this a thumbs up. Subscribe. Thank you again to our sponsor. And don't forget about our giveaway. Once we hit 1,000 subscribers, we have the DJVX50 as well as the two RTL SDRs right now that are on the lineup. Um, and as I said before, I may add an option to you for you to choose either the DJVX50 or a similarly priced GMRS radio. We'll come to a conclusion about that. Um, that's still on the table, not 100% decided, but I think we're going to go that direction. Thank you guys. Smash that like button and have a great afternoon.